Hey YouTube, Dice here, and today I've got a different video for you. Um, I've recently been introduced into IDPA competitive pistol shooting. IDP, of course, standing for International Defensive Pistol Association. And today I've got a different video. It's not airsoft. Um, what I want to show you is what I'm using for IDPA, and it's on a budget, so stay tuned. Alright, so like I was saying, I've been introduced into IDPA, competitive pistol shooting, and today I just want to go over some of the things that I'm using personally that will help me compete. Now this is nothing revolutionary, this is nothing very expensive, this is for me, this is what I could afford at the time being to get started. Uh, so first things first, let's look at my pistol. I am using a 6 Sauer SP2022 in 9mm. Um, it's a great pistol. Uh, this is my first pistol that I've ever owned. Um, it's like your normal SIG. It kind of compares to the 226s and the 229s as far as functionality with the decocker, slide release, everything very close to your action thumb. Uh, the only thing with this is this is their Pro line. So, with that being said, the lower frame is made of polymer. Um, I've had this gun for almost a year now. I've had no problems. I put a variety of different ammunition through it. Um, as far as I'm concerned, this will get me started in IDPA for now. I really don't have the funds to go and get a more IDPA friendly pistol for stock service pistol class like your Glock 17s or your Smith & Wesson M&P9s. Uh, but this one, it, it'll work fine for what I need to use it for. The only thing with this when it comes to IDPA rules is my first shot, unless otherwise noted, has to be on double action. So after I've chambered around, I need to put it on double action to take my first shot. So I have to deal with about a 10 pound trigger pull on my first shot but after that it's much smaller to about three and a half pounds which is very very manageable especially for IDPA standards. So I already had a pistol it's something I invested my money into about last September uh, and it came with one magazine and as far as IDPA goes you need to have at least three to be able to compete because um, there's some strings, some courses of fire that require you to use up to 30 rounds in some strings and for stock service pistol your magazine can only have 10 or 11 rounds in it at any given time so if I've got a course of fire that needs 30 rounds I need to have at least three magazines so, I've got three and a fourth, just in case. So you've got your magazines, but you need a place to put your magazines. And I got from a friend an Uncle Mike's dual mag belt holster. This one is very unique. It's a kind of a harder plastic, not exactly Kydex, but it gets the job done has an adjustable belt on the back side. I think you could put a paddle on here if you choose to do so. And it also has a retention screw so that if I screw this down with my screwdriver, it makes the t magazines tighter or looser in the holster. So I've got it in a real sweet spot for me to take magazines in and out no problem. Next thing is because it's defensive pistol shooting, you need to be able to conceal your pistol and you also need a holster. I picked up a Phobos holster a couple months back to do some tactical training and I am able to use this. It meets all the IDPA requirements. So I, I've already invested the money into this. It fits my pistol perfectly. I think I picked up this holster for about $15. It's a soft plastic. I got it with the paddle, but it also has space for the belt to slide through, so this thing isn't moving around. As far as the belt goes, 
you're going to want a nice sturdy belt. Um, this is just a 511 tactical, uh, I think they call it their instructor belt. It's black and tan and it has just a plastic buckle. Nothing fancy. I think this was under $20 when I bought it. And I used it most for airsoft, but it works well for IDPA. And it especially, it fits inside my holster, for the belt at least. So, so far, with the exception of the pistol, I've spent close to maybe $60 with magazines, the magazine holster and the belt. Since I've been shooting for a little while, I picked up a set of the Impact Sports uh, sound reducing headphones or noise canceling headphones. These run on a pair of AA or AAA batteries and they've got a built in microphone and a little MP3 port so you can play music, stuff like that when you're at the range. Um, these are highly, highly favorable in the shooting community. I really enjoy them. I'm glad I bought them. These were around $45 on Amazon and uh, I couldn't be happier with them. They're, they're, they work wonderfully. Of course, because it's a shooting sport, you need eye protection. I picked up a pair of generic anti-fog uh, eye protection from Amazon for about six bucks. Uh, they work great. They don't fog. They feel nice on my face. They have adjustable uh, arms to go around your ear if you got ears farther back on your head like some goofballs out there. But they work nice. They come with a little uh, felt fabric-y cotton sheath, you know, to store them so they don't scratch. And lastly is my ammunition. I've only gone to a couple matches so far, and what I've been using is Federal 9mm 115 grain uh, ammunition. So far, this has been the most expensive piece. Everybody knows with the current ammo crisis, if you will, it's been a little difficult to get ammunition. Um, for the time being, I don't reload because it, I don't have the money to put into a rig, the powder, the primer, the bullets, and I really don't have a large collection of brass to recollect. So I store this inside of a waterproof case, and all of this... I keep inside just a toolbox that I had laying around the house. So, so far, for, with the exception of the pistol, I'm in IDPA about $100 or so just to get me started, which is pretty reasonable in my opinion. Is some of the courses of fire require you to have a cover garment that conceals your weapon and holster uh, and your magazines. And for me, I don't have the money to go and buy a real nice shooting range vest and as long as your cover garment covers up everything that's on your belt, you're good to go. So this is just a little dress shirt that I got from, I think, Ross or Kohl's for five bucks on the clearance section. And, you know, it fits my taste. So I use it every, you know, just to dress up, go out and have a couple drinks. But it's also cool for IDPA. I can still use it. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. There's going to be a video of me going to IDPA competitions with some other YouTubers. And we'll see you in the next one.